Hey you guys, it is your girl Glitter Mama here and today I'm super super excited because it is finally the time of the month where I show you my babes for the month and I kind of hope that you enjoy it because I really enjoyed this month because I did get a lot of really good products that I will say that I'm going to continue using um, just because they're the bomb.com basically. So let's just get started and let's get rolling. So okay. first of all, sorry about the guy there's a guy that does our lawn and he's mowing right now so I'm sorry about the noise just wanted to warn you ahead of time there will be lawn lawn maintenance noise in the background okay so I guess let's just get started because I do have a long list for you guys and I'm don't know how I'm gonna do this and how particular of an order I'm going to go through I guess what I can do is just first go off with showing you my Harley and my Joker um shirt I love this shirt like I've only worn it a few times this month like I wore it when I um when I went to go see the movie the Suicide Squad movie which by the way love that movie I really want to go back and watch it again like I've been promising my daughter that would go see it so yeah um i've been really digging i really love that movie and i just wanted to say that was like my my movie of the month um even though i only like really watched one new movie this month which was that but i really really loved it um i think um the dialogue could have been a little bit better and then there's sh the they they promised a lot of stuff in the you know in the in the trailers that wasn't in the movie which i was kind of bummed about too but overall it was pretty good and my girl harley kicked some major ass in there and i'm just telling you straight the fuck up like i don't care who you think who you are she's a total crazy badass let's just put it that way and i'm i'm glad that i'm a huge fan of her and i've been a huge fan for a long time it was a very huge secret that i had a had a huge obsession of her because it was a cartoon character you know but i was like fuck it you know what i mean like let's just be real with everybody these days because that's just how I need to be right okay, so another thing that I got that was kind of Harley related were these awesome flip-flops I actually got these at Walmart my brother bought them for me they do have like I'm assuming like and I'm so sad because I've used I've worn them and the the stuff is coming off so I'm going to have to like not wear them as often unless I'm wearing like this shirt or I'm wearing like something Harley related or I'm doing something Harley related but it has Harley on there but it's just like the comic strips of the the Batman um, comics and stuff which I, I love Batman too don't get me wrong like I love Batman and the Joker and I love Harley and I like Poison Ivy and I like but Harley is one of my favorite Batman characters so next to the Joker so well not next to the Joker but the Joker comes next because you know they in love they in love don't know really what I deserved to have such kindness come my way coming from my brother because like our relationships kind of one of those um I would say bipolar relationships where like one day we love each other and one day we hate each other and one day we just don't even give a fuck about each other but my me and my brother we and my, my mom and, and my other brother and my daughter we all were out eating one night and we decided to stop in this little clothing shop it's called Rick Warehouse and I found these really cool shoes and I was like, oh, I'll come back and get these later. These are what they look like. And, um, see them. And they're polos. They're from polo. They're from the polo brand. And they were only $20. Originally, like, I think 60 or something like that. But they're really, cute, like, pretty. Like, I really love these. Um, this is what the bottom looks like. I've worn them, like, once or... I think twice already and they're so comfortable even though and they fit like a glove they like I mean seriously like if if you could find a glove for your feet these would be it but they're so cool and also they're pink and black so that's like um winter winter chicken dinner if, you, if I do say so myself um but my brother got them for me and he bought like everybody's shoes that night which was really really insane of why he did that but you know I really want to thank him for the bottom of my heart so moving on, I want to actually show you something that I actually got from Claire's, um, and that is this poof ball, and it's like a multicolored poof ball, but it's so 
freaking huge. And I know a lot of people are like, the poof ball is so over with. That was like so last year. Or that was so two years ago. Or that was so six months ago. I don't care. I really think this was a really good idea to put like little bag charms on. I think that once you get like, I only put like one or two on. Like I have like a hand sanitizer one and then I have this one. And then that's all I actually carry besides like the original Michael Kors thing that always comes on the on their bags and stuff. But I really, really love this. It's so adorable. I got this at Claire's, believe it or not, for like eight bucks like come on now like okay so so now next I want to kind of tell you I've been kind of getting a little obsession with sunglasses I used to never have an obsession with sunglasses I used to think like they were so stupid to wear but now that I like I'm driving more not really driving more but like you know I'm getting older and I'm getting you know where I need sunglasses I've been like into like finding unique and different sunglasses and I found these literally they have like the marble print on it and they're like really classic like I would say these are like classic like Hollywood they're a little smudgy right now because I've had my fingers all over them which I it's driving me crazy like looking at it because I can't stand smudge if anybody's like that let me know down in the description box how much you hate smudging but um this is something that I usually don't tend to grab for I mean like like different like I mean lately I have but like in the past I wouldn't I would just get like some aviators or some like big bug-eyed glasses and just move on with life but these are so dark like I literally love these for like when it's really bright as as I'll get out and also they're just so different and you know where I got these at torrid yes ma'am torrid like big girl store like and they fit my face so perfectly and they like if I wasn't wearing any makeup and I just I mean literally you couldn't tell if I was wearing makeup or not you know what I'm saying but I mean I love them and I've gotten so many compliments on them everybody's like where'd you get those glasses those are cute glasses those are interesting glasses like um somebody that I knew said oh you look like you're going to the beach and I'm like I wish I was but these are amazing they're the bomb.com if I would say so myself Okay, so the next things that I got, I actually got from the Goodwill. And I want to first show you this one. And it's so gorgeous because it's like, I love James Dean. I love anything that deals with like classic movies and classic, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love anything vintage and anything like the old Hollywood days. I love that sort of stuff. Like if you if you know me, I'm a huge fan of Marilyn Monroe and I love the like I haven't watched the movie in a long time, but the breakfast at the Tiffany's movie, I'm just like I used to watch like constantly when I was in high school. But James Dean, I love Rebel Without a Cause. I don't know what it is about that movie. But it is such this quote and it's got a quote on it and it says um dream as if you you'll live forever and live as you, you'll as if you'll die tomorrow which is a very weird and strange quote that he would say since he did pass away um and got killed in a car a racing accident or car accident whatever you guys want to call it um but I think he's just so handsome in his own like weird and mysterious way it's kind of like a really dark like really messed up way for me to say this but he's just so handsome I think he's just from back in the day like if he was if he was like alive today I would wish that he was my grandfather or something and then I was like looking through like more of these and there was another one by Miss Marilyn which of course you know me I'm obsessed with Marilyn um and I really like that they have these like really sturdy because these things are heavy like if I threw this at you you would like it hurts you really really bad um I think these came from like Target, I believe it or not. But I mean, if you guys know exactly, I actually spent $5 on each one of them. But it says, I'm not interested in money. I just want to be wonderful, which I think that's an incredible quote to live by. Um, I don't know where I'm going to hang it at right now because like right now I'm currently in my, you know, living with my grandmother. But I'll find a spot eventually because, um, you know, I want to hang both of these up probably in my living room maybe or in my bedroom. Who knows maybe even even in hallway I don't I don't I don't know yet you know we'll just have to decide when I you know find me a spot let's just put it that way I want to get 
to this and I don't know why where the top of this is but um I got this at Walmart yes I know Walmart what the fuck um you might have seen this in a haul but it says girls just want to have fun and I so think this is so true for me right now because like that's all I've been thinking about is like making that money and just getting my shit together basically and I lost it. It's a coffee cup, but I actually put like drinks in it and stuff. But somehow, I don't know where the top is to it. I always lose it. Something I always do. I think a lot of people do this. I don't know. But if I, if y'all do, let me know. Because I want to know if I'm the only one. And then they have a water bottle. So, it just says the same thing. And I took it to work and everybody was like, this is so you. And I was like, you know it. And you fucking know it. Okay, so with the whole cup and bottle water bottle theme i before i had gotten that one i ended up getting this one which is like this really cool like what is this called like pop art or whatever that's called it's really really dirty because like i actually this was in my car and it got stepped on and there's like boot tracks all over it but it was so cool because it was like something that i was drinking out of and it says hot sun fun tan and i actually got this for like a few bucks but it's really cool because you can open it up like this and you can put like ice and and your water and your lemons whatever you want to put in there fruit whatever but then you can open it up and drink it like a water bottle which i think is so cool i've had one of these before um where it's at i don't really know but um i just love this idea of like having it as a water bottle but then turning around and you could put like ice you could put fruit you could put whatever in here you know if you make a smoothie or something you could put the smoothie in here I don't I don't really know what what you would do with with um or what you put you put in yours but I only put like water and ice and or soda and ice or drink and ice or whatever but my okay so I'm going to just go ahead and do the food because I think that we might as well just go ahead and get that done but I stopped at this gas station close to where my mom works or one of the jobs that my mom works and I was in there and I was like I want some munchies but I just don't know what I want and I always would dip bunions and steak sauce all the time and I mean I did that a lot when I was pregnant too and it wasn't like a craving it was just more of something that I I did on a daily and everybody would be like oh that's disgusting that's so weird but bunions now has a steak house onions i guess this is supposed to be like flavored like the like blooming onions from like the outback or something but it's it, it literally tastes like if i was dipping my original flavored onions into steak sauce i'm so sorry for this loudness i really do apologize like he had to pick the day that i'm filming my favorites video and i had to get this up so i'm sorry but these are good they're so amazing i've already literally went through like i bought three bags four bags excuse me i've already went through two and look i just before i started this video ate a whole bag just i mean these are like little like you know travel bags or snack size bags but literally like i went and got four and i've ate two of them already in like a day like i just got these today even though like I've tried, I had them, like, I've been eating, I mean, these are the chips that I've been eating all month, basically. Um, but, I am so obsessed with these, these are so, excuse me, fucking good. It's not even funny. So, I just wanted to, like, kind of, and then, okay, I don't know if you remember this from the, from the, you know, the 90s had, like, all kinds of weird and strange, like, drinks and foods and snacks everything you can think of like they had just so much like i thought was like the coolest like era to have snacks in i i i thought basically so i went to the same gas station this morning and or not this morning but a couple a couple of weeks ago and it was like around the same time i got the funyuns and or a little bit before and I was looking for a drink and I was like I don't really want Pepsi I don't really want Mountain Dew I don't really want Sierra Mist I don't really want any of that I, I stick to more Pepsi products than Coke products even though I do every now and then you know drink a Coke or you know a Sprite or something I just usually just drink Pepsi I don't know what it is about it I just do it I know that's 
I can't explain. I usually get like a dark, um, not a Dr. Pepper, but I usually get like Mountain Dew or Pepsi. It's usually what I normally lean towards. Well, they brought Crystal Pepsi back. I don't know if anybody remembers this from the 90s, but this is clear Pepsi. And to me, it tastes like the Pepsi cross with the Sierra Mist. I don't know what it is, but it's like everybody thinks this is the strangest and the weirdest like drink, but I think it's so fucking good. Like when I was a kid in the 90s, I would go like if my dad would drive me to like drive me around or like my grandmother or my mom and we stopped at a gas station, I would always grab me one in a bottle of this or like I would see if my mom would get me like the two liters or or get like, you know, see if one of my you know family members would get me a two liter because these were so good and then when they took them off the market i was so livid i was like i stopped drinking pepsi for like literally like five years at least five years like i did not drink pepsi and i stuck i stuck with like coke because you know they betrayed me and but now they're they're back in my good grace again well they've been back in my good grace but um and they brought it back it is so good i had to get me one this morning i was like yes you know but i kind of wish i got another one so that i can have one for later but i think i might stop beforehand and get me another one because these are good i'm just selling and like you should totally like if you are a 2000 kid or beyond try this and you'll see what the 90s literally tastes like and you'll be like girl i meant i wish i was born in the 90s or i wish i lived in the 90s or grew up okay so now i guess we're going to get into beauty and one of the beauty items we're going to go into makeup first is these um katie cat matte lipsticks from covergirl i have always loved covergirl everybody knows this but these are amazing i have every literally i have every shade from her because like when i seen that they came out and i love Katy perry you know what i'm saying i was like i gotta go get these because i gotta see what they're about i did like a video a whole i think i did like a whole video of it and i mean you can um find it on my channel but these three are like well there's four that I really like there's another color called fit uh, sphinx but I can't find it and it's more of like a lighter nudier color kind of not really like really pale nude like where it's gonna like make you look like you're a ghost or something but um these um that one and then these three um this one is called cat couture and it is this really beautiful like brownish like I want to say it's more like of a, oh my God, see, like, this is the color right here. This is what it trans, it kind of, it looks like my nail color, basically. And it's like a reddish, like, brown kind of color, like a maroon color, but not really so really crazy. So that's what that color is. The next one is Ki Kitty Puri which is this, like, nudier, like, mauvier, pinky kind of color. And it's actually this color right here is what it swatched out to be. Um, and I really love these colors just because they're more of a nudier color. Like that, that reddish brown color would be something that if I would have put on my lips, it would have been like, whoa, girl, like you're wearing lipstick for the first time. Like everybody doesn't know that I do wear lips, lip color sometimes just because I do kind of not portray that I am wearing it because of my little shade. I know that was very complicated. And then this Persian pink, which is this middle pink right here. And it just is like kind of similar to the, um, the Kitty Prairie, but just more darker in a sense. Um, it does have more of like a purple blue tone sort of thing to it. That's the only thing I can really describe it as. I mean, I mean, it's just like maybe a shade or two darker than the Katy Perry one. Katy Perry, sorry. Um, but uh, you guys, I lied. I did have um, the Sphinx one as I was looking through my stuff. But this is what this one looks like. It's more of a nude color. But it's a very light nude color. I love this. I was carrying it in my purse for like a minute. Like literally, like if you see the bottom of my purse, you're going to be like, girl, empty out your damn purse. Um, but there's also other colors like this one's a really pretty like I think this is a really pretty red I haven't used it yet um, 
and just because there's so many of shades that I have to like go through and then there's this coral cat one which is obviously a coral color you know what I mean it's like an orangey kind of peachy color which I really like as well okay so the next color oh, I gotta get a get a get a, get the lippies out of the way is this um Maybelline color sensation gone um Gredge Gredge I think that's what it is but it is this really amazing color like when I wear this even though it's like so it's so pigmented but it's so matte and I love matte lip colors but I also like the shiny like moisturizing ones too especially in the winter time when my lips are dry I tend to go for more of the shinier sheenier sheenier sh more sheen lip colors just because but these I'm serious like I have only worn it like maybe a few times this month but every time I've been like damn you know what I mean like I've been just like obsessed with this color like I'm like dude so you'll probably see this more in the fall because it is more of a fall color but I will say it is just an amazing color and that's the only reason why you haven't been seeing it a lot really because of that reason so the next thing is the lashes that I'm wearing currently right now and I'm obsessed with these things like literally I bought like a five pack of these and I was like mm, not really digging them like I don't know what it is but I was just not digging them at the time and then I went and I got more of them like in individual lashes and for some reason the individual lashes look so much better than the ones that were in the five pack even though they are the same and these are from the brand Salon Perfect. They're the Go Glam. These are actually, you can find these, I believe, any drugstore that you can find. I found mine at Walmart. Um, basically, they have a five pack if you want to go big or go home. But these are amazing. I love to wear, like, these lashes two or three days, you know, in a row because they're just so amazing. And I love the more dramatic they are. Like, these things, like, almost touch, like, if you can see this, they literally almost touch my brows and that's what I love I said if it's not almost there then I don't want to wear you know what I mean um sorry okay so the next thing and I have been wanting to try this palette out for basically <laughs> like a really long time like seriously it's been like months like when I first seen Candy Johnson like show this palette I'm like yes um because I was just like, you know, whatever the candy has, I want, you know, whatever candy's, you know, rocking, I want to rock, you know what I'm saying? As far as like makeup is concerned. So this is actually the Tartlet in bloom from Tarte. Basically it is so pretty. The packaging is so pretty and I love the gold and how it is. I know it's a very reflective palette and sometimes if it hits the light it will blind you but I don't care because obviously your makeup is supposed to blind people at times. Now as you can tell my mirror is disgusting even though I still use it I actually need to clean it off but these are the colors right here like I'm just gonna like zoom in and show you guys these I mean like the camera the lighting does not do it any justice if you were physically there. So I usually just tend to stick to all three of these and then these three right here because I like that natural look but I also like a little shimmer to it sometimes I will do my brow bone with this so like the colors I use is this one which is flower child this one which is jet setter this one which is smart smarty pants this one which is sweetheart and then this one's firecracker I have used rocker before my brother actually I think he used this one which is called leader which is this corner color it's like a maroonish burgundy like really dark color he used that when he was doing my makeup um which um I'm gonna try to um you'll probably see it after this one because I'm gonna try you know it it he did my makeup like two days ago so I still am not done editing it but that is what it looks like so and I've also used like this white one before just for like a you know little uh what would it be called like a base or whatever um but I really just use this color because it's more closer to like my actual skin color so yeah um another thing that I have been 
kind of loving because I am still not skillfully mastered the eyeliner look. Like I, I kind of had to, um, fix it. Like I've been fixing it like all the fucking day because it's just like one eye is to me, they don't look even, but whatever. I'm just at that point where I'm just so done and over with, with this, but this is the elf angled eyeliner brush I know a lot of people's talked about it and literally the end of it looks like they just like kind of bent it with like if you can see that with like some pl like pliers or something like that I don't know but um I was like you know what I'm gonna try it out cuz like I've heard people liking this brush this particular or these kind of brushes and um this is what this one looks like I wish that it was a little bit more like pointy at the end but um, this will be a good one. If you guys have any more angled eyeliner brushes that you love, like from other companies, let me know down in the description box because, um, I want to, I want to, I'm going on a journey to like master this eyeliner look because I love the look on everybody else. And I'm like, yes, queen, I gotta have that. Just gotta have it. And I will have it. Okay. So. I know a lot of people like kind of hate on like drugstore brands and I don't really care. I mean, if I find a drugstore product then I'm going to keep it, you know, like in my routine. But this one, I swear to God, this is what I've been setting my face with, which is the Master Fix setting, uh, Master Fix, um, setting plus perfecting loose powder. Um, this one mattifies, which is really good for the summertime when you're sweating and stuff. It does keep all of that, you know. Like I've had my makeup on for like two hours now and I have not once gotten really, really shiny. Um, so that's a good thing. And I really, really just, I recommend you guys trying it out. I have literally like gone through like already one container, like literally that's all I have left at this one, but I do have another one for a backup because you know, your girl, she has to stock the F up. So she's got another one right here, um, which obviously has a lot of product in it because I don't like to go without. Let's just put it that way. I do not like to go without. Lastly, um, this is something that I have wanted to try since like I seen everybody say, Hey, we went to this, the benefit event for the brow stuff that's coming out and everything. And I'm like, dude, I gotta get my hands on this. But I went to Ulta. And I was looking for new makeup and that's where I got the Tartlet palette. I got this and this is the uh, Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit and it looks kind of like this. I think a lot of people probably know about this but on one side you have your pencil which just I'm going to rule it out and then you know obviously this is what it looks like when you draw it out you know what I'm saying so I mean like I got the shade five I don't know it doesn't have like a particular name like taupe or or medium brown or whatever um because usually I'm more of the medium brown kind of color um when it comes to my brow brows I know I have really really dark brows but it's just me and I like dark brows so why not but on the end it has like a little spoolie and as you can tell it's like really disgustingly dirty excuse mind that but I have loved it. I have, I'm wearing it today. Like a lot of these products other than my lip color, I've, that I've showed you are on my face right now. Um, I like to do my favorites videos and I like to, to wear what I'm showing you guys because then you're just like, really, you know what I mean? But I really love it. I love how it's just like really shiny. I was thinking about getting the, um, gel one that's like in that really fancy looking thing, but I thought this would be a lot more simpler and if I like this then I would graduate to other products once I'm either done with this or what have you so yeah okay so this is gonna be a hair care product I only have one hair care product this month because literally I've been kind of going through a month of trying to like grow my hair out a little bit so that um, I can actually see like how much darker I need to get for my hair to dye it basically so this is from um, I got this actually in my ipsy bag this month and it's the it hair care 12 in 1 leave-in treatment and this is kind of similar to the um, it's a 10 but I feel like this is a lot 
more better and I only use this on my ends and then I kind of like work it up a little bit into closer to my scalp but I don't go like all the way to my scalp and put it on because I do have um I'm very oily um in general and on myself and basically um it does 12 amazing benefits it repairs dry damaged hair protects from split ends breakage shiny and healthy hair transforms frizz silk maximum heat protection seals and protects removes tangles removes tangles restores natural body abyssian oil for silky hair infused with amino with silk amino acids and protects protects your hair and transform brittle hair which i have been doing a lot of bleaching and i mean you guys know this like you've seen like my hair go from like the crazy pink in my hair to the blonde to this <laughs> and before it was just brown you know but i've been really loving this so much and it's been helping my hair out a lot i will say because like i really need to keep my hair from not falling falling apart and i feel like it looks a lot more shinier yeah my hair is up right now that's just because it's not it's on its second day of dirtiness but but yeah you know uh Okay, so finally, we're getting to the very last thing. You know, I always do this very last, and that is the scent of the month. Now, I'm going to let you know, this is a scent that actually came out right around the time when I graduated high school, and I was obsessed with this. Like, I'm obsessed with anything that this celebrity comes out with, I, or just in general, whether it's her music or her clothing line. You know, at one point she had a clothing line in Kohl's and then her perfumes and just, and now she's got a new one and I'm like, oh my God, girl's got to go and like smell that shit because if it smells good, your girl's going to get it and stuff. But like my favorite, my actual favorite perfume that came from the, her fragrance line is the Radiance, but this one just brought me back to my high school days and this is the Britney Spears fantasy and I've loved this stuff this was like the OG scent of my life if anybody like smelt me from back in the day they're like this was your smell like this was what you this is what people would say reminded them of me you know what I'm saying I know that's really crazy and really bizarre but like I was obsessed with it like I would like have like bottles and bottles and bottles on deck of this stuff even though it would like when it first came out it was like expensive AF well for me it was expensive AF but um now I mean I got these at Walmart I guess I will say that but they come in a body mist form so like instead of having to like spray it on for special occasions I can spray it on anytime like I spray it on going to work and I'm sweating all day you know what I mean like it is like literally and like I can spray and spray and spray and it's not gonna be like damn girl tone it down did you bathe in this shit like what the fuck like you know what I'm saying this shit is the bomb.com I did lose this one this is actually the bottle that I use I did get a second bottle because I don't know if like I did take the last two I did take the last two and I don't know when I'm going to have it re there it, I don't know when they're going to have it restocked with it but I did have this this actually I have one for the car one from my house but I do put this in my little like travel um, perfume thing that I have you guys probably seen it before in previous videos in the past um, but I really like it so I love the scent the smells so good and I wear this stuff all the time like I do and honestly all month long literally how much did I use not much not much at all um, so that is not a bad thing. I hope that you enjoyed this monthly favorites. Um, if you have any that you like anything that you recommend as far as like products and stuff like that, things, objects, whatever, whatever you want me to try out or, you know, you want, you recommend, you know, that you like and that you dig and that you want me to try out and you want to see me show you guys on a future favorite video go ahead and go down in the comment section and say hey you should try this this is amazing or you have you tried this because I'm kind of curious I want to buy it but I want to make sure that it's actually um a good product before I before I use it um so yeah um and don't forget to subscribe because obviously there'll be more videos in the future and I know that there's going to be more because I have filmed a shit ton for you guys already and I'm about to like load them up every day. I'm going to try to keep this channel up and running as possible even though sometimes I'm busy working or you know having a life basically outside of YouTube. I know YouTube it's not fair but 
it's the truth, you know. And as always, don't forget that no matter if you're dressed up or dressed down, you're beautiful. When I'm, when I'm, when, when